Welcome to this month's Venice collaboration video. This month we're going to talk about our most favourite holiday in our leisure vehicle. We're going to choose our October 2022 trip to Scotland. Yeah, this is the longest trip we've ever taken away in any leisure vehicle. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the reasons why it's our favourite, because we had quite a long time away yep. and you got to... It still took a while, even though mode to home in camper vanning is a like you can start your holiday straight away because it's your home away from home it was diff it was quite difficult getting into the swing of being on the road every day and not really having too many plans um i think it took us about a week to get into it it did you know we had some electrical problems to start off with um you know it took us a while to sort them out but the the fault was quite easy at the end of the day uh, we felt we had to take a little bit of a reboot at bunry yeah. to get going again which we did. Uh, we did a couple of day trips around there. We went up the chairlift at on the Ben Nevis range. Yeah, that's quite exciting. See this clip here to see how much I liked that. <laughs> so to point out, we yep. were at this point in our um, Warwick XL camper van. Yes. Um, again, spending a long time away in our vehicle gave us an opportunity to decide that it wasn't the right vehicle for us. But that's for another video. <laughs> yes. We still have. Um, some videos that I need to get edited and published uh, from that series, which we will get to. So we thought three weeks would be a brilliant, you know, we're going to get to see so much of Scotland. And don't get me wrong, we did see, see a lot of Scotland, but yeah, three weeks is not enough. When you get there and you find um, the scenery is ever changing um, and you've got the whole different feeling of being on the mainland to any of the islands which we did quite a few thankfully we really enjoyed what we did see yes we did and it's made us um definitely want to go back and we'll pick off smaller areas and focus on those um in more depth i think yeah. next time yeah the tour last year was pretty much of a taster kind of experience yeah where we had a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of that we wish we'd had more we feel we rushed um parts of the trip you know yeah. the whole um, coming down the east coast felt like uh, like a race to get down to to Moffat uh, to make it home on time. Yeah. Um, yeah, we just wish you know three weeks definitely not enough. Three yeah. months probably not enough. Yeah, yeah to do what yeah. we did. We'd love to dedicate some yes. serious yes. time to traveling around Scotland. And why? Um, it was October. Um, the scenery. We still had quite a lot of autumn yes. still visible oh, yeah. the trees had lovely colors and also looking at the hills and mountains you know they had the different colors as well and again it changed if it was a gray day it was it gave you one kind of feeling and then if it was a sunny day it completely changed again i mean every day every corner as i say it was it, it, you know the surprises the change constant was just it was mind-blowing we did quite a lot of ferry trips, didn't we? And yeah. we were on the islands, um, the islands which includes the Inner Hebrides, the Outer Hebrides. Uh, we did the Orkneys, uh, the Orkney Islands as well. Yeah, I got told off for saying the Orkneys. <laughs> so you got to say the Orkney Islands. <laughs> I mean, waking up on a, a park up, which was literally like a little road, um, sing almost single track. I mean, people could get past you, but then waking up in the morning and there was cows walking along the beach, munching on the seaweed. You know, it was just like, where, where do you ever see that, Scotland? I do like a good coo. We also went um, in search of some Highland cows because the one, one of the main things I wanted to achieve on this trip was to take a picture closer up of a highland cow so um yeah eventually we found found some yeah i think you got a you got a couple of good shots yeah. of those cows um some you yeah, know we started off you know we got those ones across the road that was the first yeah. ones we saw that was all the way up at uh john o Groats, i believe it's, it's quite they're quite far, they're quite hard to find close up <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> believe it or not <laughs> Yeah, no. A couple of unexpected things as well. I mean, we saw that stag at the side of the road. Yeah. We saw him the next second. He just jumped over the fence, the barbed wire fence, and he was off again. Yeah, like a standing, just a standing leap. Clear yeah. that fence easily. Yeah, yeah. Some amazing photo opportunities. I mean, we're not, we're certainly no David Bailey's, but um, I was quite happy with uh, a lot of photos that we yeah. have to remind, remind us and remember the, the trip by. 
we saw some um we did a lot of the touristy things um so not cities we didn't do any cities particularly but we did do the touristy things like standing stones and standing stones Oh yes, right. <laughs> okay. Standing stones. Standing stones. Yes. <laughs> well, I don't know. Why I was thinking of stepping stones for some reason. <laughs> oh, fuck, I remember going across any stepping stones. The fairy yeah. rings. Yes. We saw some yeah. amazing waterfalls. Some lovely old bridges. Yes. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get to do the um, steam railway with the Harry Potter bridge, um, just because of the the kind of hiccup at the beginning yeah. of our trip. Yeah. It, it, it just something had to give and that was that was, that was one of the things that was one of the things but hey yeah. you know it's something to go back for mm -hmm. we also enjoyed um some of the local food we um tried cullen skink where did we try that was at it? the harbour in thurso yes um so that was our first um cullen skink and it was amazing mm -hmm. we did have it somewhere else because we liked it so much later on in the trip but it wasn't as good um, oh, do you know what the name of the town was that we had the second helping Cullen. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I, I. didn't like it as much, but but you know, it was still nice. But yes, the first was nice. one was definitely the best. Yes. Um, we fell in love with Iron Brew. Yep. Addicted. Very nice. Sugar free, of course. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah. No, we've we've got lots of things to go back for, and um, the time of year we went again there was um there weren't too many people on the road so it wasn't like we were squashing past other motorhomes or anything particularly and the the wee midges they weren't around it was too early for them it's too late in, too the, late season in the season, for, season them. for them yeah as much as i'd like to go and see the summer colors i don't want to be stuck with loads of people so potentially we could go a couple of weeks earlier i don't know how much difference does that make if we went like the beginning of september i, I think we got it just right because it was at that point in time it was the at the very end of september and i think it was the you know the first day of october is when a lot of the park ops open up oh, they yes. are restricted in summer yes. we did a we did quite a lot of off-grid stuff where yeah. it was just go go somewhere you like grab an app on your phone find somewhere to go to and we did see especially early on a lot of sign restrictions yeah. saying yeah this is closed Close until, between yeah you know, the, you know, yeah and october was the opening, october was the yeah. opening day yeah, so, so i think yeah. early october for us would be an ideal time if you want to go and do the whole off-grid thing of course if you're hump, um if you're humping <laughs> <laughs> if you're hopping around from site to site then it doesn't really matter so long as you've got a reservation but we weren't we were looking for uh, off-grid park-ups yeah being away for three weeks we wanted to keep the costs down because we knew that fuel was going to be a, a big expense and also um we planned to do several um island hops so yeah. we knew we were going to have to pay for ferries as well so, so um, ferries and fuel was quite an expensive part of the yeah. whole holiday absolutely worth every penny yeah yeah definitely best holiday um we've had in a leisure vehicle yes it was and um yeah definitely going to go back to scotland yep. here's to you cheers yes. and we'll be back cheers <laughs>